Anyang Haseo, Je Edelman, Kosha, Evita, and welcome back to a new video. Hi, I'm kind of getting um, away from being sick. I've been gone for a redonkulous amount of time. Um, a lot has happened, a lot has changed in my life. And I thought I'd come on here to share. Um, I don't really know if I will talk about everything. But I do know that I will touch on a few things. Um, first of all, I have a beardy boy. I've always wanted a bearded dragon and now I have one. His name is Marco. Um, he has never been featured on this channel, and I haven't asked him if he wants to be featured, so that'll be a new thing, um, potentially. I'll ask him if he wants to do it, um, another time, <clears throat> but I moved out of my parents' house, and I'm now staying with friends, um, and I'm paying them rent, it's great, and hopefully... This will be my first step before moving to New York. You know, um, a lot has happened in the past. I don't know how long it's been since I've made a video on my channel. I think it's been since February or something. It might have been later than that. It might have been a year since I've updated my channel. But, uh, yeah, a lot has happened. Um, and a lot is still happening. When it comes to things about my job, I will tell you when I'm no longer working there and when I live in New York. Because, oh, oh, oh the things I could say and the things that could get me fired right now. I don't need to be fired. Also, I'm drinking hot chocolate. Um, also, update. Except in piercings now. Digging the, the gold flowers. Cut them off at Amazon. Um, it's with a gold set of bees as well. Also, a septum ring. And still with my tried and true industrial. It's, we've had a crazy healing process, but... She's here for the long haul. I love it. I love this particular bar too. And I don't know if in my last video I had a Medusa, but I have my Medusa done. I'm um, hopefully in the near future, I'll have more ear piercings to show you guys and maybe a new tattoo. Um, so, I, I really would like to start doing more with my channel now that I'm out of a toxic space um, in a place where I did not feel creative. Um, because I really got in my niche for drawing again and I feel better. <laughs> um, like a lot better than I used to feel. And um, I think my mom expects me to move back in with her when they find a place I don't want to, and I don't know how to tell her that I'm not going to. So if you have any thoughts on how to tell my mother how that I'm not going to move back in with her, please drop that down below. Um, I actually have a hair video that I have not posted yet. It's literally just sitting in my um thing in, in my gallery and I've been waiting to post it and I keep forgetting so that's that's gonna be fun when I actually do post that editing's gonna be great um yeah 
honestly, this is just a sit down with me. It's not really anything. In fact, it's probably going to be totally boring. I won't make it over 10 minutes long. <coughs> I have my own room now. Uh, I will show you my room in a little room tour later. Um, there's not much to my room. It's very simple, very basic. I have a drawer, a dresser in the background that you can see. You're on a table, it's not table, it's another technical dresser but like dresser and shelves like drawers and shelves that's what you're on that matches that set over there and then I have Margot and his stand and really that's all that's in my room besides the built-in closet um yeah there is a lot has changed and I will be talking about a lot and if you guys have any questions, you can always ask me on Instagram, or you can ask me um, in the comment section down below. I know it gets, it's really late when I start answering your guys' questions. Like, I, I think I answered one from somebody from like, ten, from like two years ago. I was like, oops, did not answer this comment. And it's not on purpose that I don't answer your comments. It's I get sidetracked and busy, and my brain doesn't always think a hey, Chuck YouTube Studios. Um, because originally I was doing that all on my computer, and now I'm doing it all on my phone. And there are so many more interesting apps than YouTube Studios. Let me be uh, quite frank. Also, I'm sitting in a rocking chair and I'm like sitting on the very edge of it. That's not good. If my roommate saw me, she'd be uh, a little upsetty spaghetti. Uh, but it is a very nice place that I am living at right now. And I'm so grateful and so thankful for my coworker and her husband for opening up their home to me. Um, it's been hard. It has. <laughs> uh, they've, they've taught me a lot about relationships. They've taught me a lot about myself. They taught me a lot just in general. And it's really nice to have people around you that get it. <clears throat> and that understand, like trauma and I know like my family they're all going through trauma but it's hard for them to get it because they're going through like my brothers and sisters are going through the trauma still and not really looking for a way out so it's hard to talk about them talk, talk to them about getting out when they themselves don't want to but also, I am very grateful for the fact that, that you, for the fact that I now have different outlets. Rather than just talking to um, Jared and making him very overwhelmed, I am so thankful for having a therapist now that I talk to every week. It's really helpful. Guys, get help. And, and learn coping mechanisms because they save lives. And please, 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 if you feel like you're hurting, tell somebody, somebody that you trust, somebody that you can confide into. And with that, that is the end of my TED talk. Um, I hope that this has been helpful for you a little bit, at least this last portion. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, 
like and comment on my video um, and go follow me on all my social medias that will be linked down in the description box below um, and without further ado that's the end of the video bye